Hello everyone, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. Welcome if you're new, my name is Liz. And today's reading is very exciting. This is the September 2021 reading. We got lots of info. I actually filmed this video a few days ago. So the background will look a little bit different during the readings because I ended up taking the lights out um, that I had during the readings to decorate for Halloween. I know some of you are like, Halloween already? But if, if you've been on my channel a while, you know I love Halloween. I usually decorate the uh, first week of September. So yeah, I've already decorated for that, which I'll show you guys. But today we have a fall theme. And last year I did these same style donuts with the pumpkins. So I thought it would be cute to do today. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I will give you a close up first. Let's just take a nice deep breath to give you a chance to choose your pumpkin donut. Okay, you can always pause the video if you need more time. Just a reminder, my readings are general. Have fun with it, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, always use your own judgment and intuition. But yeah, I'm excited to get started. I'll show you each pumpkin here. So group one, we have vanilla with sprinkles. And for this group, we use the Green Witch Tarot. Group two, we have chocolate and vanilla with sprinkles. And for this reading, we use the Everyday Witch Tarot. And finally, group three, we have the Teal Pumpkin with the fall colored sprinkles. And we use the Dark Mansion Tarot for this reading. So you can take your time choosing. We also use the pendulum today, so you can think of a yes or no question. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. And yeah, we will start with number Hello, one. Group one, if you chose the first donut, then this is your September message. I hope you're having a really great day and that you're comfy and cozy. We have a lot today because we've got lots of cards, charms, letters, numbers, and the pendulum. So you can think of a yes or no question to ask the pendulum, but let's get started. Let's see what's happening for September. So September, 2021, let's see what's going on. Oh, okay, Ace of Wands. All right, I love getting an Ace for any month, that's awesome. September. Okay, you've got the Eight of Pentacles and Harvest. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. So immediately, what I'm seeing here is something is definitely sparking your interest, your creativity. You're feeling excited about something. Now, this is something new. And what I see you doing is fully just dedicating yourself to this new interest. This could be something to do with work or even just a hobby. I like to mention hobbies too, because they're very important. Our interests, things that we're passionate about, which in this case, I see it as something you're very passionate about. You're dedicating your time to it. Now, this is one of the apprenticeship cards. So this makes sense. I think this is something you're learning or you're really crafting like your skill on something. You're like, yeah, I really want to learn this. I want to get better at this. And you're confidently moving forward. You're not being hard on yourself. You're okay with the learning process, but this is something you're enjoying. Both of these indicate something that you really enjoy, you really love. And then you've got harvest. So I really love this because this to me is your hard work effort that you put in September. You know, it'll lead to something new. It'll lead to some sort of new beginning. So I really, really love that. I want to get you some more Oracle cards though, or just get more detail. We'll connect everything. We'll get your charms um, and tie everything together. So let's see what else we have. All right. So we've got a couple Oracle cards here. We're sticking together here. Okay, so September 2021. beginnings. All right. So this makes a lot of sense with the Ace of Wands. This is, and I love this. I love the door, the image of the door. This is a new door. This is likely, we see water here. Okay. It's likely something you're, you're, you feel very connected to. We've got transformation here with the butterflies. So you're going through some changes in September. And I want to say like 
For a lot of you, this will have to do with work, but what I'm really picking up on is just the enjoyment of something that sparked your interest. So whether or not it's something that will lead to financial increase or you know anything to do with work, it's still something that you're enjoying and that's important. So either way, whether it has to do with work or just something you really like doing that you're interested in, you're passionate about, that's really great because it can be very calming to have hobbies. It can be distracting when we need it. It can be um, just enjoyable, fun. We can connect with people. Uh, it's it's so much fun. And a lot of times it's hard to find those things that you might really want to focus on. But in this case, I think I think it's something new. Or it could be something that you you were into before, but it's reigniting. That spark is, is lighting again. Think of this card as like a match. So it's, it's, and it grows. It grows into something. So let's get you some more messages here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we have. So September 2021. Okay, it won't fall out. Longevity. So I do like to read out of this book because Cheryl and Darcy includes sort of things to pay attention to or look out for. So I like to read it because it's very specific. I don't know where I put the book. One moment, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so yeah, I love I love Cheryl and Darcy's decks and I like using the guidebook for this deck especially. All right, so, oh, look at this connection too with the judgment card because it's like the harvest message. So my green thumb came only as a result of the mistakes I made while learning to see things. Okay, sorry, I got excited here. My green thumb came only as a result of the mistakes I made while learning to see things from the plant's point of view. Okay, so the key here I, that jumped out at me is the mistakes I've made because both of the, I mean, this this card's really about self-analysis, healthy um, self-critique where you're really kind of, it's, it's a set, an assessment card and it can be healthy to do that. So a lot of times when we hear the word judgment, we think, oh no, I don't, you know, I don't, we don't like to be judged, but this is more so about like yourself. It's like, okay, you know? So I think for you, September is really a month of learning from your mistakes, learning as you go and not being hard on yourself because this is really like learning. Uh, I always, I always just picture like whistling while you work. It's enjoy, you're enjoying the process. And this is definitely something new. I think it, with the door image here too, it could even represent something that could lead to something else. But well, let's see what this says here. So it says, a phase in which trust, completion, a sense of belonging and peace has been reached is signified by the appearance of chrysanthemums. Deeper intimacy in relationships is highlighted, and you may want to explore this area of your life as long-term commitment needs attention. A cycle of learning is coming to an end where you now have all the facts you require. Creative blocks, melancholy, or weak boundaries are challenges. So I'm getting the creative blocks here, and then just sort of the potential to be down on yourself during the learning process. This card does mention a cycle of learning is coming to an end. So it could be because we have harvest and the aid of pentacles this could be already something that you are currently learning but the thing is we've got the ace before it so it's interesting because we've got the beginning and kind of essentially the end the harvest in the same reading so i feel like this is likely something you are learning rather quickly um or for a few of it could be sort of the beginning stages and for for a lot of you it could be something that you're starting to see those rewards so yeah i just feel like you're getting a lot of feedback and it also mentions um, relationships, getting closer in relationships. I think this could possibly be part of the new beginnings is I think you're connecting with people. What I'm feeling is there's a sense of confidence in today's reading where you just want to be yourself. You just want to be yourself and focus on the things that really do interest you and make you feel happy and excited and curious. Like. That, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this new beginning for you in September is really about focusing on your new beginnings, things that you love, uh, and then sharing those interests with people too. Uh, so it does indicate a closeness with people in your life. So that could be romantic. If it is, actually, let's get you a romance angels. But of course, you know, that just means sharing. It means uh, being yourself, being, being open with people that you love and people that you trust. Okay, this one wanted to flip out, so let's take it romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay so for a few of you this could be a new connection we have the ace of wands here which can talk about attraction to someone new kind of like that first 
spark of attraction with someone at first, like, oh, like the butterflies. Uh, so that could definitely be the case. If you are in a relationship, this could, could also just indicate that you're feeling romantic feelings with your partner. Now that card did mention intimacy. So it could indicate that you, if you are in a relationship, the two of you do need somewhat of a fresh start. So you could need more time together. That's really what I'm feeling. And it could be something like, do something where you both enjoy that thing. You know, something you're both interested in. Share with this person maybe what you love doing. And I think this person's going to see how happy you are doing this thing, whether it be work or hobby. And I think it's just gonna have a bit of a snowball effect. A lot of times when we see people doing things that they love and really passionate about something, it, it's sort of, uh, I don't know, it just, it can spark something in them too. So I feel like the key word for your month so far is just like spark. It's just that, 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 I don't know, spark, spark's the word. But speaking of keywords, let's get to one of these cards. I've got two more decks here to use. I brought this one out to get a keyword for the month. Okay. So, September 2021. Blessed, okay. Blessed and relaxed fell out too. Okay, so relaxed is really great. And I think whatever this is, is something that's relaxing. And that's why I'm really leaning towards hobby uh, so crafting, interest, possible maybe some of you that have a business, uh, whatever this is, is providing a sense of just just tranquility, like you enjoy doing it. If you're a crafty person, uh, if this hobby is something to do with like something that's crafty, it's relaxing to do that. So your key word for the month is relax. I also see spark. So I, I love that there's a sense of like enthusiasm, excitement, but also relaxation. So that that to me is really where this confidence and this comfort's coming in. You also have blessed, which I love. So this could just be you feeling very grateful, feeling very thankful for both the people you have in your life, what you do have, the blessings, the skills, the abilities that you have. You're just feeling particularly uh, lucky in September. And even possibly lucky for these new opportunities, this door here possible luck with that as well. So we've got one more deck here, then I want to get your charms and we'll do your pendulum too. So stick around for that. Oh, we had one pop out. We've got Witch's Cottage Security. So this feels very much like Ten of Pentacles to me, which is feeling comfortable with what you have. We see this cozy little cottage here. Uh, it's comfortable. This could just be telling me you're feeling comfortable in your, in your, your home. And I think this really ties into blessed too. You could just be feeling especially thankful for your home, the people in it, um, what you have, you know, your opportunities. Um, there could just be opportunities coming to you in September with these new beginnings that you're feeling very thankful for. Uh, this too makes me think of making the home super cozy. This cottage is really jumping out to me. I think of just making things around your house feel very cozy and comfortable and like a safe space to be in, to work in, um, you know, to be with your family in. Uh, so yeah, I feel, and this could also indicate security um, and comfort within a relationship as well with the, with the intimacy messages we have here and romantic feelings. Uh, with Harvest too, I'm just getting a feeling of abundance of having, you know, having what you need. I want to mention too, this judgment card can also indicate new beginnings, right? It's a, it's like a rebirth. So with new beginnings, I feel like there's definitely an opportunity. You also have an ace. So there's something new in September, okay? Something new and I think it's sort of uh, stemming from hard work that you're putting in and also whatever this is that's piqued your interest, whatever this is that's really given you that spark. So I would say September is looking really great for you. You're feeling blessed and thankful. New opportunities, new doorways are potentially opening. You're feeling excited, enthusiastic, but also very relaxed. So honestly, if you chose the first pumpkin, this is really, really great. Uh, as far as this card goes, do things around your house that make you feel comfortable and cozy. The harvest card too is making me think like maybe, you know, what are some things that you like to have in your house that make you feel comfy and cozy? Um, you know, do you like to have, do you like to have a particular beverage, you know, get lots of that. So you have things that make you feel cozy around the house, um, you know, so that you can just be cozy. Okay, so let's get you some charms. We'll do your pendulum at the very end. Okay. So we've got the focus palm today. So let's get the palm out. All right, here we go. the 
page of pentacles there. I'll raise these up. Okay, we're going to get some numbers and letters. Have fun with these, okay? So it doesn't mean anything's happening. If it's a date, for example, it doesn't mean anything's happening. It could just mean that the dates that are mentioned here, the, the words that are mentioned here, might be significant to a few of you. They might feel extra important. It could be the day where you feel very interested in something or you and your partner, you know, have a really cozy date or something like that. So let, let's see. So we've got September 5th is highlighted, double, okay, so that could be an important date. We've got September 13th and the 12th, okay? So the 12th and 13th are especially important for you. Let's get some letters. And I'll lift these up. We'll really go through these charms today. want to thank you guys too for sticking with me during my uh, past couple months. I know I haven't been uploading as frequently, but I've definitely needed the time to just take care of myself. So I do appreciate you guys. Okay, so let's see. We've got R, M. So yeah, I think initials, some, sometimes they spell words. Sometimes the words don't make sense. So that's why I always say have fun with it. Let me just flip these and then I'll read them to you okay okay so we've got r m e e a u n l t i w i i e l and o okay so let me know what you see but let's take a look here so in the palm we have the chariot or the car so this could, you know, sometimes the card just indicates travel. Uh, in this case, I'm getting more chariot vibes. I'm getting that confidence thing because a lot of your cards spoke about that too, just the confidence in yourself. So I think you're, there's lots of movement for your month, lots of change, but I think more so this is just you behind the wheel, feeling confident and going in a direction that you feel, you know, comfortable. So really listening to your inner compass and uh, about what direction you want to go in and, and uh, being, you know, just feeling that momentum, feeling that, that confidence. So I love, I love that for you. All right. So let's see what we have. We'll start here. We'll work our way around. So we've got the bicycle. This is about momentum. It's also about like, sometimes we have to push through challenges and sometimes, you know, things seem a little bit easier. That's what I get with this, but I also get similar to your chariot message, just the momentum, the speed pushing through. So I think if you have, cause that one card did caution against creative blocks. So if you've hit a bit of a creative block, I don't expect that to last. You've got the ace of wands. So if you're feeling that now, if it's August, say you're watching this, you feel a creative block. I don't see that lasting, okay? You've got, oh, I love this with the chariot message, uh, the compass message. So yeah, you've got the, uh, the little, is this a compass? Why am I having, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Yeah, Liz, yeah. Okay, compass. But yeah, this is, um, you know, I think just you going in the direction that you feel, you feel driven, you know? Um, I love that. We've got lots of signs. We've got Gemini, we've got Capricorn and Libra. So that could just be people in your life that could be connected to the romantic feelings card or just people that are supporting you, people that are really, I really feel like people are cheering you on. You've got the purse here. This is like nine of pentacles energy. So I love that you've got eight of pentacles. You've got this one too. So this could just indicate that what you're doing now could lead to, um, you know, more opportunities or a little bit extra spending money even. But this too, uh, with security, I think with your, with your witch's cottage, I think makes sense. Cause this is just like, to me, feeling comfortable having what you need. Okay. So it doesn't always mean excess. It doesn't always mean luxury. Security is about having what you need to to feel comfortable okay so that's what i hope for you in, in in september you've got the key in the heart that's like an answer that's an answer and i really think with the judgment the harvest card that's where this comes in is like you know you're you're you've got the answer and i you've got a lot about like following your own direction this to me always represents you have the answer you've got the solution you've got 
the pineapple, abundance, so lots of abundance, because you've got blessed, you've got harvest, which is abundance. So much about abundance. Uh, so this, and with the new opportunities we're picking up on, this could just mean family too. Pineapples are a symbol of friendship and family. So again, just possibly, it could even be one person you feel very lucky to have, um, or community, you know. You've got the page of pentacles. So page of pentacles is, uh, I think, really great with your eight of pentacles. Because this too is a bit of like, in your ace of wands too, this is like new. This is something new uh, that's, that's interested you. This can have a bit of a planning aspect to it as well. So it could be something, and, and also it's a really great sign for possible new opportunities that could lead to uh, maybe a career or a job or something like that. But it's definitely like early stages. You're learning something, you know, that kind of thing. You've got a cup here. This could be like Ace of Cups. So with your relationship messages, your Ace of, uh, your, or your, well, your Ace of Wands too could talk about like passion, but your, your romantic feelings card, Ace of Cups, I'm not surprised to see that. I think there's just a lot of new beginnings for you in September in some way or another. So this is really to me, Ace of, Ace of Cups. It's funny too, I was mentioning cozy beverages. I don't know why that keeps popping in my mind. With the security card, I'm just picturing you like with with like a with like a nice cup of I don't know, coffee or cappuccino or something like that, just being really comfortable in September. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's do your pendulum before we before we go, but I hope you enjoyed your message for September. Let me know. So September 2021. you've got a no for this but yeah i hope that you enjoyed today's message and yeah we will see you next Hello, time. group two if you chose the second donut then this is your september 2021 reading so we're going to jump right in because we have a lot today we've got lots of cards we've got charms letters numbers and the pendulum so you can think of a yes or no question for the end of your reading so let's see what's happening september 2021 Okay, you've got, there we go. So you have the Ten of Wands. You've got the Page of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. So those are your cards for September. Very nice. Okay, so let's see what your Oracle cards are. We'll go more in depth once we have everything here. So this one kind of jumped out. We've got Grounding, Potato. I call that the fruit and veggie deck. It's actually the Green Witch Oracle, but, and this one I did bring out the book for because Sherilyn Darcy includes very specific things to kind of look out for. So we'll definitely look at what that says. And let's get your key word for the month of September. So your key word for September. Okay, focus. Get your three more left after this. September 2021. Oh, we've got confidence. All right, confidence. And a love message. September 2021. Release your ex. You've got some of you are holding on to somebody from your past. September 2021. Okay, and you've got grounding twice. That's wild. Okay, you've got grounding twice. I'll get you one more love message just in case if you've already released an ex and that one feels like it's not for you. We'll get you one more. So September 2021. Okay, very soon. All right. So let's see what we have here. This is interesting. I love that you have the two grounding cards. That to me is magical. So why don't we just quickly have a, a quick glance at Sherilyn Darcy's book and see what the cautionary messages are or things to pay attention to. So it's number five. 
right? So it says, explore the deeper innermost areas of yourself and situations as potato indicates energies that are calling you to look again at what you may have once missed and will help bring stability. If you are looking for an answer, try pulling back a little to let things settle on their own first. Challenges at the moment may include ignorance, self-centeredness, and forgetfulness, so make sure you are compassionate and focused. All right, that's interesting. So overall, what I'm getting here is with the 10 of, let's just look at the 10 of wands here. There's something that is becoming quite difficult to solve or figure out, or you're taking on too much. This it just feels overwhelming. Um, and I think with all of these grounding messages about trying to find your balance, I feel like it's just saying, take a step back from something. And this was a theme actually in a reading I did recently of you know, just stepping back. Sometimes when we're staring so hard at something or we're pushing, we get tired, we might get burnt out, we might just feel like we need a rest. So it's saying that's okay. It's really wanting you to kind of get grounded again, look look at something from a different perspective, pull back. It doesn't mean you're not doing anything. Taking a break is fine, but there's definitely something that is missing that might sort of spark your, your enthusiasm. I feel like it just re-sparks your interest in whatever this is. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm feeling here. And I think this might be affecting your confidence. And I think it's just because the momentum has been nonstop. The momentum has been nonstop for you possibly. And it's just saying, take a rest. That's okay. Take, take a moment to get grounded. You've got two messages emphasizing grounding. Okay. And basically what this card mentioned was taking a step back from something so that you can get a better view and go back in feeling just more, more sturdy, more stable. So there's nothing wrong with that. And you know what? We have the queen of, we have the queen of pentacles here as well. The queen of pentacles is very, very practical and very confident in, them, in themselves. You also have confidence here too. So I feel like what's happening is something's affecting your confidence because you're just feeling a little off balance here. So all this is saying is September for you might be a month to step back from something, just put something on the shelf for a short time. It could even just be a few days and just give yourself a chance to you know, breathe, take a rest, put some of these wands down. Or I always like to say too, with the 10 of wands, ask for help with some of the wands, ask for advice. This queen of pentacles could definitely represent someone you're seeking advice from because the page of the page of wands is really sort of the early start of something. And, you know, I just don't want you to feel like you can't do something. I don't want you to feel like you aren't capable because confidence is really a main message here. Don't quit, just take a little, you know, time out if necessary. And it doesn't mean that September is not going to be productive. In fact, I think that by taking the rest, you know, that might help sort of uh, launch your focus again. It might help you look at something from a different perspective, learn something possibly, but definitely re-spark that curiosity and that excitement and that enthusiasm that you maybe once had for this. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's just a pause and then a restart. And this restart's going to really, you're going to feel a lot more um, energized and enthusiastic about whatever this is. I'm also sensing a lot of nature energy with the two grounding cards, the Queen of Pentacles. There's sort of um, an encouragement for you to be in nature as much as possible in September. So it could just be to the weather starting to change, things are starting to cool down. So maybe just being outdoors, being in nature might really help calm you as well. It may be really good for you. As far as relationships go, we've got very soon and release your ex. So I think this is for sure connected for a few of you. For, for some of you, it could be separate. So let's just start with release your ex. So this could be for some of you what you're carrying, sort of what is adding to this feeling of being overwhelmed. So the time has come to clear your energy. This could be your ex or somebody from your past, um, you know, that you've been thinking about, or maybe they've resurfaced and they want, you know, they want to talk to you. Um, and this is a situation where you would know that it, they're not a good match for you. So it's really wanting you to leave them in the past. And I think, and I think that too will help with the confidence card that we have here. You also have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that comes to you now. I love that with the focus energy because, you know, I think the main thing here too is just taking a pause to prioritize. And I think that includes relationships. So really the overall message I'm getting here is the pause to get grounded, to find your, to find your stance, to find your stability and then restart again. And I think this is going to be the thing that launches you back into whatever this was that you were enthusiastic about, feeling that excitement again. And uh, this could be, again, to do with work. This could just be a personal goal. Really, whatever it is, I do see it being very personal to you, very important to you. September for you is almost like recharging. You know, like if, it's like if your phone battery was, um, you know, almost 
almost gone. You just need to recharge it, let it fully charge, and then you're good to go again. That's kind of the visualization I'm getting here. I want to mention too, just as a side message, I'm feeling very practical financial energy here, meaning I think it'll be beneficial for you. This could be just because you're saving for something, but in September, just be kind of really clever and make use of what you have um, instead of going to buy something new, okay? Now that's coming through. There could be a specific reason for that. It could just be that an opportunity is coming up that you'll be happy you have a little bit extra for. It could even just be a day, you know? And you're like, yeah. So I just really think that being thrifty, wise with money in September, will be really um, beneficial to you. And just kind of using what you have, being wise with money, being very practical with what you're spending. And if you're really wanting to impulse buy something, ask yourself, you know, do I really need this right now? Maybe put it in your cart and then make yourself wait 24 hours. And then if you still want it, you know, that kind of thing. But grounding is your other main word. You've got it twice here. So grounding, and this one specifically talked about taking a step back, you know, looking at what you've got here and then reassessing and maybe going back in from a different viewpoint. That's the thing. Sometimes just taking a, a step back can sort of refresh our view of things and it can give us more ideas too, which I love with the page of one. So this could even be something that's good too, because it gives you an entirely new idea that you wouldn't have otherwise thought of. So I really love that. Okay. And then in your book here, uh, for as far as challenges for September, it talked about uh, making sure you're compassionate and focused. So I just think by taking this break, you're not losing focus. If anything, it's just restarting your focus. So don't feel afraid to take a take a rest or look at what you've done. Take a pause. You know, for a few of you, it could be a few days. For some of you, it could be a week. Just look at what you've got going on, you know, and you might want to make some changes from there. Uh, so, and it did talk about um, being considerate of other people around you in September. So there could be moments where you're so focused on what you've got going on that you might forget to be compassionate about maybe challenges that other people are going through. So that was mentioned in the book. So for a few of you, that could be relevant, you know, and I don't think it's, it's, it's not intentional. I think it's just because you're, you're likely a very focused driven goal focused person which is excellent but it could just be you're so focused on what you have on the go right now that when someone comes to you and says you know i'm stressed about this i'm worried about this it could be very important to that person now you've got the grounding messages too so that could be part of it too just being grounded um as well could really help with that all right group two so we're going to start with your charms letters and numbers then we'll do your pendulum at the very end so you still have time to think of a yes or no question let's get to our numbers you've got September 1st, September 2nd, or possibly the 12th, September 13th, and September 8th. So these, of course, could be the 18th, 12th, or 13th as well. Those are just, you know, possibly important dates for you in September. All right, so let's do the letters next and have fun with the letters. Sometimes the letters spell things that don't make sense. Um, they're just meant for, for fun, initials, things like that. Okay. All right, so you've got S, got two S's, two O's, I, G, A, E, W, G, and another A. So let me know what you see. I see, well, nothing really. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys do it. See, so, no, yeah, so, maybe there's some of you so and see, I always like, I like to get you, let you guys do the letters. I'm not very good at uh, coming up with words on the spot. So let's get some charms next. Oh, we had one flip over here. That was the E. All right. And the hammer fell out there. Okay, so let's raise this up for you. We'll take our time. So inside the palm, a significant person in September is a Sagittarius. That could also represent you. And you've got the robot. Oh, that's so interesting. So the robot makes me think of kind of being on auto and not taking time to like, or even the recharge message, like that you need to recharge those batteries. So the robot just tells me you've been sort of in this kind of like repetitive, very, you know, you haven't been as gentle with yourself, as calm with yourself. You haven't been taking that time out. And also learning too, I think of learning and adapting 
packaging and uh, I, I love I love that I think it makes a lot of sense there's one of my hairs there we go okay so let's see what else we have all right okay so I think uh, for a few of you I'm getting that this is going to part of this recharging or this re you know, whatever this is that's happening that's making you feel more enthusiastic is going to include a team. So I think for a few of you, this has to do with work. So I think it's a few people at work that are also helping you. So it could be a project at work. You've all just been staring at this for so long and it could require one person, um, you know, just saying one thing or taking a time out as a group or, you know, switching things up that could really, really help, um, you know, help refocus. I do, I'm seeing here that you're feeling very, it's almost like you're afraid to take a time out. It, it's feel, it, it feels almost like you're stuck to whatever this project is or this idea or whatever this is. You're feeling stuck to it, so you're afraid. There's like a little bit of fear of taking a time out. We also have a Virgo here. We've got the Ace of Cups, which definitely tells me you're feeling re-inspired. I also am sensing you very strongly connected to your intuition in September, so I think that could be part of what's happening. Your intuition could be telling you, hey, like, look, you need, you need to take this time out to recharge because it wasn't even a time out so much for restfulness. It was a time out for getting a new perspective, looking at things differently. That's sort of what the grounding card was talking about. It was talking about letting things sort of settle for a second and, uh, you know, seeing, seeing what happens. So definitely getting that, that strong message of just letting things settle. You've got a lot about, I think you're just a very independent, hardworking person. I also feel like you like doing things on your own because then you know it's done correctly. So that's kind of, the message did sort of talk about being very inwardly focused. So that's why we're getting a little bit of messages of like teamwork and like cooperation here. So I think it would really benefit you to, you know, maybe maybe ask for opinions of others, learn, uh, get feedback, that kind of thing. So that, that could really be beneficial. Uh, we do, I do have as a side message, a possible friend reaching out to you out of the blue. Someone you haven't seen in a long time, someone you haven't heard from, uh, they might have something to say. It's likely a masculine energy that could be connected to the X card, not for everyone. So don't panic. And, and just want to mention anytime anything about an X comes up, that's completely up to you. Just because something about an ex comes up doesn't mean you ever have to be with an ex or talk to an ex. Like it just means that they might, you might see them at the grocery store, something like that. Okay, so we do have someone from your past reaching out with a message. Okay, so I, I really just see with it, whatever this is that you're feeling stuck on uh, or like really you're having a hard time with any flexibility. And yeah, I do see that you're very, very independent. You're very self-sufficient. You're someone that likes to do things on their own. Lots of intuitive messages coming in for September. I am still getting that message of making do with what you have in September, using what you have, using up what you have uh, in the house instead of buying something. Just see what you have around the house and make it work because I am seeing you being very wise and practical with your money in September. September. I think that's going to be very, very important. You also have the lucky charm too, which can indicate just luck. It's just like finding a four leaf clover. So you've got luck on your side here. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. But yeah, I think, I think if you're feeling a little bit tired of something you're working on now, if you, if you do do this and let things settle and kind of take a different view of things, I think you'll feel really inspired again. So let's do your pendulum before we go. And if you're still with me, thank you for sticking through the reading. Thank you for being patient with me too this past couple months. Okay, so it's September 2021. You got a for sure. So your answer for your question is for sure, but have fun with it, right? These these are these are supposed to be fun. So I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time and I hope you have an awesome September. Hello Take care. group three, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're comfy and cozy because if you chose the third donut, this is your September 2021 reading. And we're going to jump right in because we have a lot today. We've got lots of cards, charms, letters, numbers, and the pendulum. So you can think of a yes or no question that you might want to ask the pendulum at the end of your reading. But let's get started. Let's see what's happening for September. Okay, you've got the hanged man. So September. You've got strength. And king of swords. Okay. 
So for you, the main thing I'm seeing in September so far is a bit of a perspective shift. Now I'm going to say a word that not everyone likes to hear for monthly readings, but that word is patience. Now, the reason I say that is because a lot of times we'll get cards that indicate patience or a pause or slight delay and people don't like to hear that, right? You know, we like to see progress, things moving along. We like to see momentum. Um, but in this case, I actually think you sort of see why this delay is happening and why you're having to kind of just be patient a little longer. Now this could have to do with work, a relationship, a goal, but there's a bit of waiting time here, but I just want to emphasize here. For you, I think this is largely about perspective. So we have a hanged man here, they're smiling. So it's just taking a time out and this can, can indicate, you know, delays, but it's kind of like, okay, well, I can't do anything about this delay. So I'm going to choose to shift my perspective and try and be patient with this process. And I think that's what's happening for you. I think that this might be something that completely changes your view of something, uh, but I really think it's going to be a positive thing. I want to get one more card here, just one more to so September. 2021 the lovers okay yeah this is this is happening the way it's supposed to i really do feel that oh i look at this just looks just like what's that one tim burton movie i just love this i just love this image oh i just love that okay so yeah i just feel like this is something that's meant to happen now the lovers card can also talk about i'm really getting this decisive energy i feel like this pause may be something where your perspective shifts and you're able to make a decision um, and, and have all the information because the King of Swords would have all of the facts. They're very decisive. They're making the decision based on facts and information and they're not swayed by emotion at the time. It's very much like, okay, this is what I know. This is the information that I have and I'm gonna go, move forward from this. So I do see by the end of September, more information coming in, but it could just be that September starts out feeling a little bit delayed, but enjoy the time. That's really what I'm getting. Enjoy this pause. It's allowing you to shift your perspective and look at a situation a little bit differently. And it could be that there's more information that has yet to come in that when it does, you're like, okay, good. I'm glad that I have that info now. I feel confident to make this decision. Because the lover's card, of course, can talk about union relationships, um, but in this case, I'm getting more of the decision-making aspect of the lover's card. But let's get more info because we have a lot of cards to get, and that'll kind of tie it all together. So let's get you one of these. So September 2021. Oh, we have one fall out here. We've got prosperity. All right. So this, for a lot of you, could be tied to work and there's that word again, patience. So I'm really picturing you've waited, you know, you've, you've been patient. It's just asking you to keep being patient. And I think you're going to find it was worth the wait once you have all of the information of why this, this delay or period of kind of like, I don't know what to do, why that had to happen. Um, sometimes we don't really see why things, you know, it, it's high, hindsight, you know, we don't always have the full view of hindsight, obviously before the fact, but after we're like, okay, well, that's why, that's why that had to happen. Otherwise I wouldn't have met this person or done this thing or gone to this place. Uh, life is mysterious that way and it can be frustrating. <laughs> But really, this is going to boil down to your perspective of how you're how you're choosing to look at the situation. And I think when this knowledge comes in, you're going to feel very decisive because this just both of these indicate making a decision and feeling confident with that decision. So I love that. Just really feel like the patience you've already have, you're going to see that reward for. Um, and it, it's hard to look at things in, in an analytical way, especially if you're emotional about them, but that's what these cards are suggesting. And I think with the strength card being there too, I really do see that your patience will pay off. Uh, it's acknowledging that you're being very strong. You're being very you know, brave throughout this waiting period. Um, but I think more info might come in. And I, I think you have to do what feels right for you. So any decision, I think the more info you have, the more research you've done, the more you might have a different perspective about how to go about something differently or feel more confident in that decision. So let's get you a keyword of the month here. Okay, we had one pop out. We've got tranquility. All right, so with the hanged man, this is where we can choose to resist this waiting time or we can be kind of calm in it. This can be 
just kind of a wait and see type thing. So I think this is going to be a bit of a calm um, period of time. I'm not sensing like a frustrated waiting period. I'm more so sensing a, very, uh, a great deal of patience because I think you see that this is coming in, this prosperity um, or this, these new opportunities, whatever this is. So I feel like it's going to be, for you, I'm kind of getting the first part of September is, is just kind of calm, just calm, tranquil, you know, not much happening. And then as the month progresses, by the end of the month, you're feeling a lot more confident about the situation and you have more info. So that's, that's kind of the main thing. Now we do have a love deck. I'm going to pull a love message in just a moment. First, let's get to a fruit or veggie. So September, 2021, you've got emotion. All right. So, you know, I mentioned the, the King of Swords does not make decisions based on emotion, but I do see that this is something that you're emotionally connected to, something that's very important to you. Um, so let's read emotion because Sherilyn Darcy includes things to sort of pay attention to, not warnings, but things to kind of look out for. So let's look at number four, and I'm still going to get you a love message. Oh, look, one of the keywords is prosperity here. So you've got the word prosperity twice. That's an excellent sign. So it says, any uncertainties that have been hanging around, oh my gosh, that gave me chills. The hanged man. Oh my gosh. Any uncertainties that have been hanging around should fall away soon. Oh my gosh. As if to punctuate what we've got already. That gives me chills. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. Wow. Whew. Okay. A commitment and even perhaps a major life decision will come up. Oh my God. And you are advised to take hold of your emotions before you determine the right path for you. This is what I love. Like that just emphasized everything that we got here. That's wild. Someone near you. Okay. So this is where the this is where the kind of warning kind of comes up. So someone near you may express themselves in an unsettling way. So what does that mean? Someone you're friends with, family, may have an emotional day where they're expressing how they're feeling and it might come off. It might make you feel, it might make you feel sort of upset. Um, um, I think too, that could just be because, I mean, this is associated with cancer too. You're likely, you're likely, I'm just feeling water energy, but you're likely very emotional, very emotional person. Um, so try to ride the wave gently until it passes. So it's just saying this, you know, people, and this is the thing, a lot of people are going through, um, you know, challenging times. So, you know, be there for them. Um, if they need professional help or they need assistance in something you can't provide, you know, direct them or, you know, advise them to go, to go seek assistance. Um, but it could just be that you're, the people in your life are feeling especially emotional in the month of September. Okay. So it says, uh, it could be time to take a new step forward. So we see that, but we also see the pause. And I love how this card emphasized um, a commitment and perhaps a major life decision will come up. And it's talking about this coming soon. And I loved how it said, take hold of your emotions before you determine the right path. So that's where the King of Swords comes in. So just sort of step into that King of Swords energy. And that's just, you know, getting all the information, feeling like you have all the facts necessary to make this decision and making it based on, on you know, what you know is best for you. Um, I love that. I love that. And this could also be someone advising you too, right? The King of Swords could be someone in your life that maybe has very wise advice. They're likely the person that when you go to, you know, you're not going to get a very soft response. They likely come off a little bit harsh. They don't deliver information in like a very delicate way, but they're very honest, very truthful, very analytical, very practical. They break things down and they understand things and they try to explain it in a very clear way, but they're not like gentle in delivery. Sometimes they can come off as sharp, but they're just very, very honest. They're just not like, you know, they, their communication style will be very different than like the King of Cups, for example. That That's that's all that is. Okay, so let's get you, we've got two more Oracle cards. So September 2021, and then we'll get your charms and your pendulum. So September 2021, that's wild, I love that. Friendship, okay, so friendship is um, a, a part of your month. You're feeling close with your friends. It could be that friends are helping you get through this period of time too, this waiting time, right? Sometimes you're waiting for something and you just want to talk about it or, or, you know, that kind of thing. So friendship is a part of your month. It could even mean too that you've got more opportunities to do things with friends in the month of September. So if we think of three of cups, it could be an invitation or a get together. That could be something you're already aware of. So it could just be saying, enjoy the time, enjoy your time with friends, but you could just be feeling like, uh, you're just craving, you know, that friendship or that community or that connection with one person, a group of people. Friendship is just a theme of the month of September. So, you know, that that's great. 
That's awesome. So friendships a theme. So speaking of relationships, let's get you a romance angels. September. Okay. Forgiving and learning. Okay, so I think this is a theme for you entirely in in September, especially the learning thing, because I feel like maybe something just wasn't working. You know, something wasn't working, so you're like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it from a different perspective. And that's where these delays could be a, a bit of a learning experience for you too. So it says, and this of course is relationships too. So it could be with a friendship. Maybe this card mentioned a friend expressing themselves um, in a way that you're not really used to. So maybe maybe they're opening up to you or sharing something with you. Um, so as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So within a romantic relationship, union, okay? So you and another person could be, um, you know, forgiving a situation or learning from a situation, right? Relationships go through all sorts of things. And that's really going to be up to you what you feel like you and your partner can get through or overcome that's going to depend on every relationship but what this is saying is you could be forgiving and learning you know with somebody or on your own and moving on from that what i find about this lover's card is the third person here so for a few of you this could have to do with something that happened within a relationship could be many many things um like you know I mean, not necessarily even cheating or anything like that, but there could be like jealousy or some, something like that going on, you know, something that happened. It's going to be different for each of you, but there could be something you're either forgiving and learning with the person or you're choosing to move on on your own and forgive them for your own sake. Because that's really what forgiveness is is great for is, you know, forgiving someone kind of frees us from a situation a lot of the time because when you're holding on to anger and resentment, you think about it, it makes you feel like it's, it just, it makes you feel down. It, it's, it's not good for you to hold on to those feelings. And it's not like a light switch. You can't just be like, okay, I forgive them, move on. It does take time and it's not easy, but by just saying, okay, I'm, I, that, that was them that had nothing to do with me or whatever the case may be. I'm choosing to move on because I deserve it. That's kind of the mind frame. So I love everything we have here. I think your major themes are prosperity is on its way. You might have a decision to make towards the end of the month that requires facts, information, research, more info, possible advice from somebody. And uh, I think by the end of the month, you'll have that information that helps you take the next step forward to what direction you're wanting to go in. We've got friendship as a highlight here. Tranquility is your keyword of the month. So I think it's just saying be calm throughout this. This doesn't need to be like, um, you know, a hectic period of time. Just calmly absorb the information. Give yourself time. Be patient. There's that word. I know. I feel bad because we'll get car we'll get cards that specifically are telling us patience, you know, time, but, and I get it because especially if you've already been patient to hear, okay, patience, it's like, well, I have been patient. Totally. I, I honestly, I understand, uh, but it's just saying there's, there's a perspective thing involved with this and more possible info coming in. So that could be a huge difference. So let's do your charms and um, your, your pendulum. We'll get set up for that. Okay. So first we're going to get letters and numbers and then we'll get charms. Then we'll do your pendulum. So if you haven't thought of your question yet, you still have some time. So important dates in September. So we've got September 10th, September 6th and September 12th. So these days just might be especially important. You could get more information, for example, on those days. Um, or they could just be days, you know, with the friendship card, you do something really fun with your friend on the 10th or something like that. So very, very cool. Okay, let's get to, you. could be birthdays possibly. Have fun with the letters, okay? Sometimes they spell like a swear word. Sometimes they spell things that don't make sense. So just have, have fun with it. Look for initials mainly. Uh, sometimes there's words. Sometimes there's words in different languages. So the important thing is to have fun with it. With all of my readings. I mean, that's really the, the, the thing with it. It should be fun. All right. So let's take a look at everything we have oh you got the word friend here and you have the friendship card so friend is definitely very important for you in september so you've got e r v s a r v l a f i a i o r z i c o all right so let me know what you see and let's get you some charms Alright, 
So immediately we had the barking dog pop out of the charms. So that one card that expressed that a friend might express themselves in an unsettling way, it could just be you're, you're not understanding what they're trying to say. All right, so a dog represents friendship. The dog barking can represent someone's trying to express something to you. And you might not understand exactly what they're trying to say. So that could be connecting to your cucumber card, possibly. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look. We got believe in yourself. So that's a key. Or the charms are saying believe in yourself, right? These delays don't reflect your talent. These delays don't reflect your ability. There's a lot of delays right now that are happening in the world that have nothing to do with your talent or your, you know, your abilities. It just has to do with things have been absolutely very, very, very different and challenging. Um, you know, over the past year and a half. So just keep that in mind. So believe in yourself. Don't give up on yourself, okay? Heads up, so paying attention. That could have to do with the information coming in. You've got message in a bottle. A lot about messages coming in. So that could definitely be part of what's giving you more info. Um, like with the kind of like the gathering facts of the Knight of, uh, or not the Knight, pardon me, the King of Swords. You've got the clear heart, which is openness, honesty, emotions. So again, even though we, ha I see that you're just an emotional, sensitive person. Um, so being honest and open in the month of September is going to be important for you too. You know, sharing how you're feeling about things. You've got the lucky charm. So that's just like finding a four leaf clover. Just really, really great luck. You got the word friend here. So that's, that's really cool. Okay, let's look at the palm here. Uh, yeah, definitely encouraging you to share, open up with a friend. You've got the creativity. So this could just be something that's important to you in September. You could be doing lots of fun, creative things that could have to do with work. That, you know, the paint, the paint palette could have to do with, you know, a few people specifically. You could be in art with your career or something like that. But overall, I think of, of creativity, um, you know, having the tools you need to move forward. You've got the leaf, which is about release. It's also about change, right? Cycles of change. So that that's important too. You've got a cancer here. Interesting because your cucumber card was about cancer. So a lot of you could be a cancer or water sign or someone in your life. It could just be, you know, um, an energy throughout your month. You've got overcoming hurdles, overcoming challenges. So I really feel like the shift in perspective is happening throughout the month. So for example, I feel like the first part of the month is going to feel very different from the end. Okay. Um, so that just has to do with this transition, this change that's happening. Uh, so yeah, overcoming a challenge. And then, yeah, you definitely have a friend or someone reaching out to you, wanting to express themselves. Um, and then, you know, the forgiving and learning with this charm too, you could be releasing someone on your own romantically that you've been holding on to anger or feelings, you know, and, and you really want to release them. So that could be for you too, like finally releasing them. But we're getting a lot about opening up, being honest about your feelings. So that's where I think the friendship message comes in. Um, you know, a friend or a family member that you feel close with expressing how you're feeling throughout this you know delay um that might be happening then you've got the nesting doll here love this next to believe in yourself think of the art in ourselves you know layers of ourselves um so you could just be discovering things about yourself as well in september i feel like it's a very introspective month for you where you're just doing a lot of thinking. I feel like you're very, very much in your head in September. A lot of thinking and, and feelings too. It's it's a good balance because we've got the King of Swords. You also have a lot of emotion with the cucumber and uh, the clear heart. Lots of about emotion too. So I just think September for you is going to be a very personal month. Very, very personal month. But there's people around you too, right? Because you've got the friendship card. You've got people in your life that love you and want to support you. So let's do your pendulum. And then we will... We will uh, say our goodbyes and then that'll be it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so September 2021, starting to rain. I love it. Feels like fall today. Perfect timing. You got a yes. So the answer to your question is yes, of course, use your best judgment and intuition, regardless of what this says, um, you know, but your answer to most people's question will be yes today. So I hope that you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still with me, thank you very much. And uh, thank you again for your patience this past couple months. I have just been trying to take better care of myself um, and just, you know, take care of some things and just, you know, 
but I just appreciate your patience so much. It does mean so much to me. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you next time.